Hi, I'm Patrick Faith. Today we're going to be painting the rest of alchemy. So, from top to bottom level, the bottom is the linen. We have ground sand, which is silicon for vision and reflection. The next layer is, is ground marble, which gives a rocky, really uh, Parthenon feel. Layer over that is uh, dark ochre, which is another ground rock. The layer over that is calcium, which was intermixed with the darker ochre. And then the layer over that is a light ochre. And every time you grind a rock, it has a slightly, especially a colored rock, slightly different feel. So you have never got to kind of redo it a little bit each time. So the next step is adding black and we're going to go over that a bit. I have this, this dark city stuff. It's in the old days, gosh old days means 50,000 years ago. We're some one of the earliest um, stuff and that's of course under debate. Um, it's at least 30,000 years old. Is um, you, you burn a flame with fat and you probably have done this at your house and then you get that sooty black fatty stuff so I have a whole bag of that so this is like really old school cool. pretty cool stuff here This next, um, this next step is pretty tricky because I gotta put my hands in this goo, which is like black soot. I mean, look how black that is. Can you see that? It's hard to tell how black it is. It's black. That's black. There's black, and then there's oh, there's black. And then what I do is I. This is just, it just feels like tar. Totally cool. Oh, this is a really nice texture. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. From this point, it's really hard to say if the painting's going to make it. But at this point, what you have to do is just put some energy into the painting. And um, it's going to get a lot of energy. And we'll see how the painting deals with energy. So that's kind of a, a weird thing. So you're going to have to just watch what happens.
see that this whole thing is shifted. We're not, not straight up in anymore. We're kind of tilted. Oh, we got like Luca right here. Can you see him? See this little guy right here. We're gonna slow him down. Don't, don't move. Don't, I don't want him to fall. At least I don't want to fall him off. We have this section breaking away here. And if we lose too much tension, the whole painting will fail. Because you, obviously you want to create space in your mind. And creating that space there's tension in that space. So if, this, if the tension is released, you don't have um, energy for emergence. So I want information, space to, to kind of null it out, and then I want your mind to have enough tension in that space for emergent behavior to occur. So if the painting releases, uh, it releases the tension, which means you're not going to have emergent as, as much of emergent experience. So I'm debating, dude, does it need... Is it done? Or do I put a thin layer of uh, ochre over it? <laughs> It's like this, you know, this joke, you know, what would Jesus do? But I, I kind of do it opposite. I go, well, what would Rembrandt do? You know? And you go, well, you know, this, well, what would Rembrandt do? Or whatever you say his name. I can't even say his name right. What would Rembrandt do? You know, I'm like, well, you know, what would Rembrandt do? He'd probably sell it. Sell it and... Lose it or something. <laughs>